I'm Tommaso Poggio. I'm the director of the Center for Brains, Minds and Machines. And today I'm happy to announce that we have published a new paper on face recognition in the journal Current Biology. View tolerant face recognition and Hebbian learning imply mirror symmetric neural tuning to head orientation. The paper deals with an aspect of human intelligence, in, in fact an aspect of social intelligence, which is an important part of human intelligence, and in particular with the ability of recognizing faces. That's important you know, to distinguish friend, friends from enemies, it's important in evolution, it's important in politics to be able to recognize your friends and your fans. The paper describes um, a theory that explains how our visual system learns to compute invariant descriptions of objects and applies to the case of faces, where we are able to recognize a face that we have seen only once uh, in a certain viewpoint position and scale to other viewpoints and distances. We had developed a theory of invariant recognition which explains how this could be done and is consistent with several of the data in visual cortex. We have compared this theory to experimental recordings of Wienrich Freiwald, who is a member of our center, and Doris Zhao in the monkey cortex. The theory can explain what is observed, that you start from areas like AF or MF, which are specific to views. The neurons respond only to faces in a certain viewpoint. And then the computation goes forward to other areas, in particular AM, where neurons are selective for the individual face, but are invariant to the viewpoint. So they respond the same independently, for instance, of uh, the rotation of the face. The theory explains this, is consistent with data, but there is an interesting um, puzzle, and this is uh, that there is an intermediate area called AL, where neurons that are respond to a certain view of a face, like say mo minus 45 degrees, also respond to the mirror view, plus 45 degrees, but none in between or outside that. And we are able to show that if you assume a particular form of Hebbian learning, which is known to exist in cortex, then when you plug in, in our theory, in our algorithms, out pops this property of mirror symmetric view tuning. This is a very nice surprise that comes from putting together a computational model with a constraints coming from neuroscience, a particular form of synaptic learning that is known to exist in cortex. And so it's a kind of surprising and satisfying results to find that we can explain view invariance and as a bonus we also explain this kind of strange and puzzling mirror symmetry in neurons in cortex of monkeys. The paper also fits quite well the basic approach of the center which is to integrate neuroscience, computer science and cognitive science because we are looking at the ability to recognize faces, this is the human mind, the computational algorithms used by the brain, this is machines, and of course uh, the neuroscience part of it, what are the circuits of the brain that uh, are involved in the computations, and this is brains. So, Center for Brains, Minds and Machines.